Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Trubs Reviews where I bring you review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today, we're going to be talking about a game that I have played too much in my life. And I actually haven't played in a while, but it is a game that I fully did experience, put over a thousand hours into. And it is a game that you can put thousands of hours into for free. Today, we're talking about Warframe, a free-to-play game. And I consider, to be honest, the best free-to-play game of all time. And will always be the best free-to-play game of all time. Is it competing with AAA games? No, it's a fucking free-to-play game. So just already keep that in mind. You're not getting crazy cinematics or nothing like that when you play this game. But it's a free download and it is huge. Uh, what is Warframe? You know, it's ninjas play for free. You might download it not see that many ninjas at first. You see, like, these space alien robot things. And I don't know, man. This game is extremely hard to, uh, in a sense, explain. But it is everything. It is everything you could want. Um, or just It's every type of little fucking game mode. It's a looter shooter, a grindy game. It is a grind fest. It is a never-ending grind fest. You will always, in this game, have something to do. You might not always want to do it, but you will always have something to do. Um, and it's always rewarding. Like It's not like you get to the end game and you're fucking bored like Marvel's Avengers or something like that. There's, it's not like there's no content around. There's always content and it's always new content. Um, honestly, back in the day, Skill Up, the reviewer, uh, three years ago came out of View on Warframe, and it kind of changed my life. Uh, for one, I was playing the game at the time. Uh, for two, I loved the review. It got me really into Skill Up, and it really made me just love gaming and games, and just the aspect of Warframe is nuts. To have a game that was, it came out with the PlayStation. This game was garbage when it came out I, everyone knows that when it first came out it came out 10 years seven years ago when the ps4 came out um it was a free launch title pretty much and it was a pc exclusive it got ported over and it's here now i'm pretty sure the same thing with the xbox it's on the xbox as well uh and it's just over time like three years ago on skill Up's video they had like 20 something updates now i'm sure there's 40 to 60 updates in the game like major content updates now they have, you know, this game was a game where you, you get the opening mission, you choose a character, there's these things called frames, and there's like 80 frames in the game, uh, whether it's just normal frames, like these characters with abilities, that's what it is, that's what frames are, it's like a special looking character with a unique backstory and uh, four unique abilities, and you run around and do missions with them. <laughs> um, and that those are like your frames, and there's also a prime version of those frames, and uh, you know, Prime versions are kind of just like colorful or like gold looking versions, but none of this stuff is locked behind paywalls. None of this game is locked behind paywall. It is a completely free to play game. It is the most free to play game I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I know I shouldn't just give say, hey, it's free to play and that's like why you should play it, but this is it's good content. You've got all these different characters, these frames, uh, with tons of guns and, uh, and weapons. There's every single weapon in the game. There's, you know, SMGs, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, made up alien lasers. Uh, and then melees, there's staffs and nunchucks and fucking shurikens and just all types of like secondaries and just it's it's huge and um, you know there's multiple goals to this game. The goal the goal of the game is whatever you want it to be because the game the only problem with this it it's so overwhelming it, it, you, and they throw you right into it. You do the opening mission, you choose your starting weapon and frame, and then they just open up a star map to you and they don't give you any direction to go. This game has not really a main story, but there are huge mainline quests. And the quest, uh, you, you know, you can ask me any questions down below if you do start this game. I can answer starting questions. I can't answer many new questions, like it, shit that just came out. Because um, they've added so much since then. Like I said, um, basically you want to try to clear out the star map, with this, which is this map full of missions. Like, the only other flaw in this game, but I kind of like it, uh, it, it's the grind aspect. You know, there's there's defense missions where you defend... There's interception missions where you, like, capture four areas. There's uh, capture missions where you capture someone. There's like, exterminate missions where you kill out a whole area. Rescue missions where you rescue someone. Like, there's all these missions, and there's, like, ten or so of them, and those are, like, your main line missions that you kind of repeat on different tile sets uh, or different maps um, or planets, even. Like, there's every planet is in the game, pretty much, like Venus, Earth, and all these cool different uh, moons and shit, and they have their own little... Uh, aesthetic when you go to them and this game has tile set maps which means every time you play a map or a mission it never looks exactly the same parts of them might look the same but they're put together in a different way eventually you'll really come to like understand every map when you're on it and know where to go 100% of the time 
And then the movement in this game. This game has the best movement in any game ever. Beats Titanfall. Titanfall is the best first person movement. This is a third person action shooter uh, or just action game. And in a sense, you know, when you're moving, it, back when the game came out, there used to be this glitch where you'd have to use a melee and you'd melee every time you're in the air and it'd sling you across the map. They fucking changed this glitch into an actual element in the game called bullet jumping in which you can look somewhere and like aim forward and double tap X and you just fucking fly in like in any direction, you know, you just, you just be, uh, it, it's like you're parkouring in this game. This game is like parkour ninjas, robot looking things with guns. And then not only that, but like the, the frames that you are, all these different frames you can choose that are completely free to play. You just got to unlock them by beating bosses or just farming, you know, you just got to grind a little bit. But it's all there. It's all 100% there. Uh, you know, they're controlled by these little orphan kids that are all special in the universe. Like this game does have a story, even though it's not like mainline. There are mainline quests that do give you cinematics. They're not really action packed as much as they are like kind of thought provoking and just fucking interesting to look at. This, this game's world that they have made is bizarre as hell, and I love it. It is crazy, some of the things you can see in this visually. Uh, the art design in this game is crazy. And then they just, like I said, they keep adding things. Not only do you have all these defense missions and just nodes in which you just go out to this mission you load in and do the mission you load out, they have open world maps. They have three of them now. I haven't even played the newest one. Um, to be fair, though, as a veteran player with 1,500 hours, you, the open world maps aren't the funnest thing in the game, but they're there. They're there for someone. Someone probably likes the open world shit more than the defense missions over and over again, like me. Um, you know, so it's there. You get, like, not really open world, but you just kind of, like, you, there's, like, a hub area in the, on, on a map or on a planet, and you can go out into this open field to do missions, and it's just kind of, like, all out there instead of just loading into mission by mission. And then there's, you've got to create standing. There's, like, standing with all types of, uh, you know, groups of people, what do they call them, Fallout, uh, you know, factions, you know, there's different factions in the game, all types of standing to, to get different weapons, there's trading, and, like, there's a working trade chat in this game on a PlayStation, and it's not like, like, this game has, like, two or three currencies, it's got tons of resources, and you'll see tons of currencies, but it's not really currencies, it has platinum, which is the currency that you pay money for, but get this, get this 100%. No other free-to-play game does this, and this is single-handedly what almost makes this game a 10 on top of everything else. You can freely trade for platinum. Like, you, this, the shit that is real money, like you spend real money to get platinum, if you have a weapon that someone else wants, you can 100% trade that weapon to them for platinum. So you can, I made thousands of platinum, thousands of money currency just trading and grinding myself. You don't have to spend a dime on this game. I did spend money later on in my gaming just because I wanted to appreciate the game. I got lazy, I got bored. I was already a thousand hours in, but uh, but really, like you can set that as a goal in your head to beat this game or to get to your mastery rank as far as you want to go without spending any money. Your mastery rank here now here might be your goal of the game. Like your first goal is to complete quests and clear the star map, but your end goal maybe is to get a super high mastery rank, which is uh. The more you level up something new, like the first time you get this new gun or this new frame, the first time you can max it out to the top level, you get mastery rank points. Just that first time, because then you can you can like mod your weapons and mod your frames, and it is insanely crazy the builds you can make. This game doesn't give a fuck if you're overpowered. It's like have fun, destroy, and tear apart everyone. Like your jump from when you start this game hiding in corners trying to not die to level 30 enemies to fucking slaughtering them with your eyes closed you know uh, a couple hundred hours later it's, it's just so fun uh they're constantly you know making sure the game isn't broken they're they're fixing frames doing bugs fixes adding new content adding new quests uh, you know, i've said this stuff there's really there's flaws in this game of course but it is a free-to-play game way the way free-to-play games try to copy the, this thing and like try to talk PR and be like, oh, we're this type of free-to-play game, that's exactly how Warframe really is. It is 100% what it is, and it doesn't need the marketing to do it. Like, its fan base is there. Uh, the title of this video is probably going to be pretty accurate, though. For me, personally, I played this game so much that I got sick of it. I don't play it anymore. It's just, I just don't anymore. All my, you know, friends do. People get tired of it. You eventually stop, but I was a 1,000 hours later. I didn't even talk about, like, clans and fucking, you can build your dojo. Your dojo is like your clan base. You can build it like you, you can you can decorate that shit and like become a base builder and like that shit is needed in this game like there needs to be more of them and they're constantly adding new decorations that are crazy like flames and smoke and 
You can create your own fucking dojo, your levels. It is nuts. This game blows my mind uh, at at the fucking scale of it. You can just you can become a clan leader. You can be super socially active. It has the best community of any game ever. No one will ever fucking deny that. No one will ever say no. You can go into these recruiting tabs or these region tabs like this, these chat tabs in the game right there and just ask for help. Someone will help you. I promise you. I'm not necessarily doing that anymore, but someone out there, this game is so positive and so... Because you need help in this game. Like, if you're playing by yourself, you're going to have to watch a few YouTube videos to understand or just maybe ask down below in the comments. Like I said, focus the star chart. But um, really, it's just a collect-a-thon of frames, weapons, and all that, trying to max them out. You can form of them, which is like, you got to re-level them, but it gives them more mod capacity, and you can make these crazy builds, and it is just so fun. My favorite frame is Necros or Necros Prime. Just love them. And overall, my final verdict for this game has got to be a 10 out of 10. It is just my favorite free-to-play game of all time. It's got one of my favorite universes of all time, but it is never in the mainstream. This game, once in a while, has big content updates and then pays streamers to stream it. I, they should really stop doing that because it's just not working. This is not a mainstream game. This is a game that people play like throughout their entire like gaming life, just got, kind of going back to it. But like... You know, when you have nothing to play, instead of playing Call of Duty, fucking try this. This game is so fun, and it is a unique world, and it's PvE, so, you know, there's there's even PvP in this. There is fucking Team Deathmatch in this. It's barely ever touched, and it's not really, like, you know, it's not really updated or that good, but it's there. It's all there, and it has its own mod system and everything. And then the cosmetics in this game. Fashion Frame is the end game. I spent so much Platinum on getting new skins. All the color palettes in the game. Just from Platinum for me trading. Like just me just grinding, getting shit I already had, and then trading it to someone else that needed it. For the in-game currency that you have to spend, that you can spend money for. You don't have to. You don't have to spend money for shit in this. It is great. Uh, and even the cosmetics, like I said, you can just fucking grind for that Platinum by trading and sitting in trade chat. And then you get coupons and daily login rewards that are just also rewarding for just logging in every day. I hit like day 900 before I quit. Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say. Warframe is definitely fucking overwhelming, and that is his biggest flaw. But it 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 needs to be. It's just what it is. It's there. It's something for everyone. You should definitely download it and try to sink your teeth into it for about ten hours. And if you're feeling that grind, throw on some music and hitting it. You know, it definitely needs new players because veteran players eventually get tired, like me, and you will get tired. But that's a thousand hours later. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.